Okay, um, staying on the subject of your kids, man. Your daughter, Koi. Shout to Koi. You, please tell me you caught up with her with her Mav Hoffa interview. Man, probably, man. I, you know, I, you know me. I got, I seen the interview, and it was at the first. I was like, uh oh, you know, because, you know, with 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 bloggers and interviewers, the 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 problem that Koi has is. However they feel about their dad, her dad, it's going to come out in the interview and sometimes it gets awkward of her trying to probably defend me or her just don't want to hear the stuff that they have to say. Um, you know, I know Math Hoffa, um, you know, uh, from Badland and the other guys up there, I really don't know, you know what I'm saying, too well. But when I watched the interview, you know, it was a personal interview. I mean, you know, I was like, big time. Really, they, yes. they really get, they, you know, they really get, they really get personal. And a couple of things stood out in the interview um, that I loved. Of course, my daughter, you know, acknowledging um, that, you know, uh, that I am her father and, and that, that maybe she might've jumped the gun a couple of times and she apologized on there. And I was just like, wow, you know, I guess, in this day and age of social media, I think apologies on social media should be taken as how apology was when we grew up without social media when I actually had to come to you and apologize face to face. But I think we need to take that as that now because this is the, the time we live in. And, and I was really appreciative of her and, and how she went about it. And you know, I could see maturity in this interview, of course, with Coy that I really appreciate it. Um, I think when I'm looking at the questions that they're asking her, I think, you know, how do you feel about the sins of your father? Or do you feel like the stuff that your father went through is affecting you? And, and I'm saying, to myself, I'm saying, you know, I've done a lot of great shit out here, like for the culture too. And, you know, you know, they don't bring that up. They, everything kind of, at least with them, you know, with these hip hop heads, the Eminem thing always has to come up. And it's like, Eminem and Koi are so far apart. Like you really don't have to bring that up anymore, you know, but they did. And I love the way she answered everything, man. They said, hey, would you do a song with Eminem? She's like, man, I got to check with my father first. Man, I, man, I almost busted out in tears. I, I like, you know, I, I was, I was overwhelmed. But but again, a little bit, I don't want to say angry, just a little bit disappointed with the line of questioning from math in them. Like math asked her, when did she lose her virginity? Like, what what does what does that matter? And, you know what I'm saying? And and the other guy that said that he was an intern up at the source, and and I'm saying to myself, but but the guy that was an intern intern up at the source says, Well, how do you feel about the sins of your father? And I would love to ask this guy, what did you mean by that? Like what? What sins? Did you realize that if you was an intern at the source, that that was my magazine? That you was the intern, and, and, and if you was the intern there, that I was I was the boss at that time. So, you know, what sins other than they they could be talking about the Eminem situation? I'm just saying, like, like I know 400. You know, we were slaves 400 years ago, but this is when you look at all the rappers that they could have brought up, and they brought him up still putting him with me and it's, it just blows my mind like bro like Eminem that situation is over with it's done it's finished like let baby girl breathe they didn't have to bring that up because he has no there's no M Koy and Eminem there is nothing in common there they could have brought up so many more amazing rappers they could have brought up so much more amazing shit that I've done up at the source, but they left all that out and they continue on to push this narrative that I'm this bad guy and I did these horrible things. But if you ask them, they're not even gonna be able to come up with nothing. Well, he battled Eminem, and What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. 
that catch you all on the next video.